How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse and in this video I'm going to be talking about this which is some pretty funky metallic 3D printing filament. So as some of you may know, China is pumping out a lot of crazy and funky filaments at the moment. Some of them are useful, some of them are less than useful. So I got contacted by a company to test out this stuff which is supposedly metal PLA. So I thought, okay, it might be a cheap source of PLA combined with, you know, metal particles like bronze fill or brass fill is. So, you know, I said, okay, let's go ahead. This, they had aluminium, copper, brass, all sorts of crazy things. So I thought, okay, I'll get some samples and get them delivered and see what they're like. So I've got here a aluminium PLA and a copper PLA. First thing I noticed, these are Kilo rolls, they don't actually feel too different to regular PLAs. So, I wonder how much actual metal is in this roll compared to something more legit like a brass fill or bronze fill you'd get from Colorfab. So, okay, there might be some metal in here, but not too much. So, I tested out the printing on the Up Plus at PLA settings, complete stock PLA settings, and the print quality is phenomenal. I was really, really impressed with how well the raft was removable, how well supports removed, and the general surface finish and layer accuracy was. It actually looked really good. So, although it may not be a lot of metal in there, there's clearly something going on that's making it print a lot nicer than a lot of other PLAs on the market. So, in terms of the actual finish of the print, it does look metallic, it looks glossy, it looks quite funky. Uh, and yeah, you know, I can see this being used a lot for sci-fi sort of props, things like that, where you want a metallic finish straight off the printer. But I thought, okay, if it looks good like this, what if I polish it up? How good would it look? You know, bronze fill, when you take it off the printer, it looks like cardboard, it looks terrible. You have to polish it up to make sure get get that bronze sheen look to it. So I took some steel wool and sandpaper to one of these prints and it pretty much ruined it, uh, which is really quite interesting because it indicates even more that this isn't actually metal. This is something else, some sort of other mica, I don't know, whatever they might use to make things glossy, like, you know, shampoo has that pearlescent effect in it that they add. I think they've done something similar here, and it's not actually metal. But, again, having said that, the rolls weren't very expensive. They're about 24 US a kilo, plus shipping. Shipping was heaps, but, you know, I only got two or three rolls. Uh, and it does look quite funky. It looks like something you could use very easily for a sci-fi set up. So yeah, something curious and quite fun to play with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video on this crazy metallic filament from China. Uh, if you would like to see it sold, just let me know. Um, uh, you know, we got it in the studio to try out. So yeah, if, it, if it's uh, popular, we can get lots of rolls in. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you again soon on Maker's Views. Bye.